Episode 2, Bodies in Motion, The Science of Physical Therapies Description, Physical Therapy offers a beacon of hope for those recovering from injury, battling chronic pain, or seeking to enhance physical functionality. This episode dives into the mechanics and benefits of therapies like physiotherapy, chiropractic therapy, and osteopathy, highlighting how they restore movement and improve quality of life. Certainly, let's continue with Module 2 of Therapeutic Journeys, Exploring Paths to Wellness. In this module, we'll delve into the world of physical therapies, focusing on physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and chiropractic therapy. 2. Physical Therapies Physiotherapy Occupational Therapy Chiropractic Therapy Sports Therapy specializes in treating and preventing injury and enhancing athletic performance. Osteopathy focuses on the body's alignment and how it affects overall health and well-being. Manual Lymph Drainage a type of gentle massage which is intended to encourage the natural drainage of the lymph. Myofascial release, a soft tissue therapy for the treatment of skeletal muscle immobility and pain. Craniosacral therapy, uses gentle touch to manipulate the synarthrodial joints of the cranium. Hydrotherapy, the use of water in the treatment of different conditions including arthritis and related rheumatic complaints. Acupressor, similar to acupuncture but uses finger pressure rather than needles. Certainly. Let's proceed with creating the course script for Module 2, Physical Therapies. This module will provide a comprehensive overview of various physical therapy modalities, including their methodologies, applications, and therapeutic benefits. Physical Therapies Module Introduction Welcome to Module 2 of Minds in Harmony, Navigating Psychotherapy. In this segment, we delve into the realm of physical therapies, exploring a diverse range of therapeutic modalities aimed at enhancing physical well-being, restoring mobility, and alleviating pain. From traditional practices to innovative techniques, we uncover the transformative power of physical therapies. Physiotherapy Physiotherapy explained, physiotherapy, also known as physical therapy, involves the use of various techniques to improve movement and function, relieve pain, and promote overall wellness. It focuses on restoring physical strength and mobility after injury or surgery, managing chronic conditions and preventing further disability. Philosophy behind physiotherapy Physiotherapy operates on the principle that the body has the inherent ability to heal itself and that targeted interventions can facilitate this healing process. It emphasizes personalized treatment plans tailored to each individual's unique needs and goals. How to implement physiotherapy Assessment and Diagnosis Conduct a thorough assessment of the patient's physical condition, including range of motion, strength, and functional abilities. Treatment planning. Develop a customized treatment plan that may include exercises, manual therapy, electrotherapy, and education on injury prevention. Hands-on therapy. Administer hands-on techniques such as massage, joint mobilization and stretching to alleviate pain and improve mobility. Physiotherapy Techniques Therapeutic Exercise Prescribe specific exercises to improve strength, flexibility, and endurance. Manual Therapy Hands-on techniques such as massage, mobilization, and manipulation to restore mobility and alleviate pain. Electrotherapy Use of electrical modalities such as ultrasound and tends to reduce pain and inflammation. Occupational therapy. Occupational therapy explained. Occupational therapy focuses on helping people with physical, sensory, or cognitive disabilities to participate in everyday activities, occupations. These activities may include self-care tasks, work, leisure, 
and social interaction. Philosophy behind occupational therapy Occupational therapy is grounded in the belief that engagement in meaningful activities is essential for health and well-being. It aims to maximize independence and quality of life by addressing barriers to participation in daily life activities. How to implement occupational therapy? Assessment of functional abilities. Evaluate the individual's abilities and limitations in performing daily activities. Goal setting. Collaborate with the client to set meaningful and achievable goals related to occupational performance. Intervention. Implement interventions such as adaptive equipment, environmental modifications, and skill building activities to promote independence and participation. Occupational therapy techniques. Activity analysis. Break down complex activities into manageable components to identify areas for intervention. Grading activities. Modify the difficulty of activities to match the individual's skill level, gradually increasing challenges as abilities improve. Environmental modifications. Adapt the physical environment to accommodate the individual's needs and promote accessibility. Chiropractic therapy. Chiropractic therapy explained. Chiropractic therapy focuses on the diagnosis and treatment of musculoskeletal disorders, particularly those affecting the spine. It employs hands-on spinal manipulation and other manual techniques to restore proper alignment and function, alleviate pain, and improve overall health. Philosophy behind chiropractic therapy. Chiropractic therapy is based on the concept that proper alignment of the body's musculoskeletal structure enables the body to heal itself without surgery or medication. It emphasizes the relationship between the spine and the nervous system in maintaining health and wellness. How to implement chiropractic therapy? Patient assessment. Conduct a comprehensive assessment of the patient's musculoskeletal health including spinal alignment, range of motion, and neurological function. Spinal manipulation. Perform precise adjustments to the spine and other joints to restore proper alignment and mobility. Patient education. Provide guidance on posture, ergonomics, exercise, and lifestyle modifications to support long-term spinal health. Chiropractic techniques. Spinal manipulation. High velocity, low amplitude thrusts applied to specific joints to restore mobility and alleviate pain. Manual therapy, soft tissue techniques such as massage and stretching to release muscle tension and improve flexibility. Therapeutic exercise, prescribe exercises to strengthen muscles, improve posture, and prevent recurrence of spinal misalignments. Sports therapy. Sports therapy explained, sports therapy is a specialized branch of physical therapy focused on the prevention, treatment, and rehabilitation of sports-related injuries. It aims to optimize athletic performance, promote injury prevention, and facilitate safe return to activity following injury. Philosophy behind sports therapy Sports therapy emphasizes a multidisciplinary approach to injury management, incorporating principles of biomechanics, exercise physiology, and sports science. It seeks to address the unique needs and demands of athletes to enhance performance and minimize risk of injury. How to implement sports therapy? Injury assessment. Conduct a thorough assessment of the athlete's injury including its mechanism, severity, and potential impact on performance. Treatment planning. Develop a comprehensive treatment plan that may include manual therapy, therapeutic exercise, modalities, and sport-specific training. Functional rehabilitation. Design progressive rehabilitation programs focused on restoring functional movement patterns, strength, and agility relevant to the athlete's sport. Sports therapy techniques. Functional movement assessment. 
evaluate movement patterns and biomechanics to identify areas of dysfunction and injury risk. Sports massage, apply specific massage techniques to relieve muscle tension, improve circulation, and promote recovery. Sports specific training, develop exercise programs tailored to the demands of the athlete's sport, focusing on strength, endurance, and agility. Osteopathy. Osteopathy explained, osteopathy is a holistic approach to healthcare that emphasizes the interrelationship between the body's structure and function. Osteopathic practitioners use manual techniques such as manipulation and mobilization to restore balance and promote health throughout the body. Philosophy behind osteopathy. Osteopathy is based on the principle that the body has the inherent ability to self-regulate and heal. It views the body as a dynamic unit of function, where dysfunction in one area can affect the body as a whole. Osteopathic treatment aims to identify and address underlying imbalances to facilitate optimal health. How to implement osteopathy? Patient assessment. Perform a comprehensive assessment of the patient's musculoskeletal, neurological, and visceral health, considering the interplay between structure and function. Osteopathic manipulative treatment, OMT apply gentle, hands-on techniques to manipulate and mobilize tissues, joints, and organs to restore balance and function. Health promotion, educate patients on lifestyle factors such as posture, ergonomics, exercise, and nutrition to support overall health and well-being. Osteopathy techniques. Soft tissue techniques, including myofascial release, muscle energy techniques, and strain counter strain to address soft tissue restrictions and tension. Articulatory techniques, gentle joint mobilization techniques to improve joint mobility and reduce pain. Visceral manipulation, gentle techniques applied to internal organs to improve organ function and alleviate symptoms related to visceral dysfunction. Manual lymph drainage. Manual lymph drainage explained, manual lymph drainage, MLD, is a specialized massage technique designed to stimulate the lymphatic system and promote the natural drainage of lymph fluid from the body tissues. It is used to reduce swelling improve immune function, and promote overall detoxification and wellness. Philosophy behind manual lymph drainage, MLD is based on the understanding that the lymphatic system plays a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance, immune function, and waste removal within the body. By gently stimulating lymphatic flow, MLD helps to support these essential functions and enhance overall health. How to implement manual lymph drainage. Patient assessment, evaluate the patient's lymphatic system function, including areas of swelling or congestion, and assess overall health status. Manual techniques, apply gentle, rhythmic massage strokes to stimulate lymphatic flow and encourage the movement of lymph fluid towards lymph nodes for drainage. Patient education. Provide guidance on self-care techniques, such as skin care, compression therapy, and lifestyle modifications, to support ongoing lymphatic health. Manual lymph drainage techniques. Stationary circles, gentle, circular movements applied over lymphatic pathways to stimulate lymphatic flow. Pump movements, sequential. Rhythmic strokes applied to specific areas of the body to encourage lymphatic drainage. Deep breathing, incorporating deep breathing exercises to enhance lymphatic circulation and promote relaxation. Myofascial release. Myofascial release explained, myofascial release is a soft tissue therapy aimed at releasing tension and restrictions within the fascia, the connective tissue that surrounds muscles bones, and organs. It involves gentle, sustained pressure and stretching to improve flexibility, reduce pain, and restore mobility. Philosophy behind myofascial release, 
Myofascial release is based on the understanding that fascial restrictions can cause pain, limited mobility, and dysfunction throughout the body. By releasing these restrictions and restoring proper fascial integrity, myofascial release aims to promote optimal movement and function. How to implement myofascial release? Assessment of fascial restrictions, identify areas of tension, adhesions, and restrictions within the fascia through palpation and movement assessment. Application of techniques, apply sustained pressure, stretching, and movement to specific areas of the body to release fascial restrictions and restore mobility. Integration and movement, incorporate functional movement patterns and exercises to reinforce the effects of myofascial release and promote long-term improvements in mobility and function. Myofascial release techniques Direct techniques, targeted pressure applied directly to areas of fascial restriction to release tension and adhesions. Indirect techniques, gentle stretching and mobilization techniques applied to surrounding tissues to indirectly release fascial restrictions. Trigger point release Specific pressure applied to trigger points within the muscle to relieve pain and restore mobility. Craniosacral therapy. Craniosacral therapy explained. Craniosacral therapy is a gentle, hands on approach to evaluating and enhancing the function of the craniosacral system, which includes the membranes and cerebrospinal fluid that surround and protect the brain and spinal cord. It aims to improve the body's ability to self regulate and heal. Philosophy behind craniosacral therapy. Craniosacral therapy is based on the understanding that the craniosacral system has its own rhythm and motion, which reflects the overall health and vitality of the body. By palpating and influencing this rhythm, craniosacral therapy seeks to restore balance and promote health throughout the body. How to implement craniosacral therapy? Assessment of craniosacral system Evaluate the craniosacral rhythm, mobility of cranial bones, and restrictions within the system through gentle palpation and observation. Facilitation of self-correction, apply light touch and subtle manipulation techniques to encourage the body's natural ability to self-regulate and heal. Integration and support, provide guidance on self-care practices, relaxation techniques and lifestyle modifications to support the effects of craniosacral therapy and promote overall well-being. Craniosacral Therapy Techniques Listening touch, attune to the subtle movements and rhythms of the craniosacral system through gentle palpation and observation. Cranial Vault Hold, Light, Supportive Contact Applied to the Head to Facilitate Relaxation and Balance within the Craniosacral System. Sensory integration, incorporate sensory input and feedback to promote relaxation, stress reduction, and self-awareness during therapy sessions. Hydrotherapy Hydrotherapy explained, hydrotherapy is the therapeutic use of water in various forms, temperatures, and pressures to promote healing, alleviate pain, and improve overall health and well-being. It encompasses a wide range of treatments, including immersion baths, hot and cold compresses, and aquatic exercises. Philosophy behind hydrotherapy Hydrotherapy is based on the understanding that water has unique properties that can enhance the body's natural healing processes. It leverages the buoyancy, viscosity, and thermal conductivity of water to provide therapeutic benefits for musculoskeletal neurological, and systemic conditions. How to implement hydrotherapy? Selection of hydrotherapy modalities. Choose appropriate hydrotherapy treatments based on the individual's condition, preferences, and therapeutic goals. Application of hydrotherapy techniques. Administer hydrotherapy treatments safely and effectively, ensuring optimal water temperature, duration, and intensity.
Monitoring and adjustment. Monitor the individual's response to hydrotherapy interventions and adjust treatment parameters as needed to maximize therapeutic benefits and minimize risks. Hydrotherapy techniques. Whirlpool baths. Immersion in a whirlpool tub to promote relaxation, increase circulation, and alleviate muscle tension. Contrast baths. Alternating immersion in hot and cold water to stimulate circulation, reduce inflammation, and enhance recovery. Aquatic exercises. Performing exercises and movements in water to improve strength, flexibility, and cardiovascular fitness with reduced impact on joints. Acupressor. Acupressor explained. Acupressor is a traditional Chinese healing technique that involves applying pressure to specific points on the body to promote balance and alleviate symptoms of illness or discomfort. It is based on the same principles as acupuncture but uses finger pressure instead of needles. Philosophy behind acupressor Acupressor is rooted in the concept of qi, pronounced qi the vital energy that flows through the body along meridians or energy pathways. By stimulating acupressor points, practitioners aim to regulate the flow of qi and restore harmony and balance to the body. How to implement acupressor? Identification of acupressor points. Locate specific acupressor points on the body corresponding to the individual's symptoms or condition. Application of pressure. Apply firm but gentle pressure to the selected acupressor points using the fingertips, thumbs, or specialized tools. Duration and frequency. Administer acupressor techniques for a specific duration and frequency, depending on the individual's response and treatment goals. Acupressor techniques. Thumb pressure. Apply pressure to acupressor points using the thumb in a circular or kneading motion. Finger tapping, tap or drum the fingertips rhythmically on acupressor points to stimulate qi flow and promote relaxation. Meridian tracing, trace the pathways of meridians with the fingertips to promote energy flow and balance throughout the body. Module conclusion. In concluding module 2 of Minds in Harmony, navigating psychotherapy we've explored the diverse landscape of physical therapies. Uncovering the multifaceted approaches to promoting physical well-being, restoring mobility, and alleviating pain. From hands-on manipulative techniques to therapeutic applications of water and pressure, each modality offers unique benefits and insights into the body's capacity for healing and resilience. This module provides a comprehensive foundation for understanding and implementing various physical therapy modalities enriching both practitioners and clients' knowledge and appreciation of these transformative practices. As we continue our journey through Minds in Harmony we invite you to explore and embrace the profound potentials of physical therapies in promoting holistic health and well-being. This script encapsulates the breadth and depth of physical therapy modalities in a concise yet informative format, suitable for educational video content. It aims to provide viewers with a comprehensive understanding of each therapy's philosophy, methodologies, and applications, empowering them to explore and integrate these modalities into their practice or personal wellness journey.